hello welcome back to my channel in this video I'll be talking about reduce by key which is a spark concept in one of the interview my student got the question uh, which was referring for the reduce by key so just to thought to create the video based on this concept reduce by key takes the input in key value format so if we are in a situation where we need to add all those value based on the key in that case we can use the reduce by key and the thing that needs to be take care here reduce by key always take the input as a key value pair in order to understand the concept we will take the real time example So we are creating a RDD with the help of paralyze option. Here you can see there are number of key which is A, B and along with the key we have the value as well. By using the reduce by key operation we are going to add all those value with respect to, to the key. So the point here that needs to be take care that it is taking the input as a key value format and which is RDD and once we are done with the manipulation operation so here we are adding value it will return the new RDD let us try to understand these things in a practical way so first of all we are going to create a new RDD with the parallel operation if you don't know how to create the RDD and what are the different ways to create the RDD you can see another videos which is already created so the spark session is already open here I am going to create a new RDD which is having the name well X here you can see it has written the RDD and we need to add all those value corresponding to the key so we are going to use reduce by key operation here x this is x dot reduce by key here we are passing two parameter by default it will take zero as a value so there are many times I've seen that people are confusing with this. This is not a key and value. This is basically we are saying we are passing two key and that needs to be a summation. If you are mentioning minus it will reduce by that value. So we are passing two key. So A and this A and then this a will be added one one sorry and here one so we are mentioning like it should take the key as a input and this is second key and it should be added with respect to the value okay by using the reduce by key so let us add and we will see what is the outcome we are getting okay if you see here it has written another rdd basically this is a transformation operation this is not action this is a transformation reduce by key always refer to the transformation so it is lazily evaluated when you are giving one rdd it will return another rdd as it is a transformation operation now in order to see the result we have the y dot collect Here you can observe A is a key and as we have mentioned plus sign over here it has added all those value 1 again 1 and here 1 for A. So 1 plus 2 and 2 plus 1 equals to 3. A as a 3 and B as a 5. So reduce by key it is taking the 2 
it is taking key and value as a input and it will return another rdd and one more thing which is uh, which i want to highlight over here that reduce by key is comparatively as a performance wise is good uh, when i compare it with the group by key because reduce by key always do the manipulation operation first of all at the local side and then it will go to the another uh, nodes so if i when we want to aggregate something it will first of all do all the aggregation on the local node only and there will be a less shuffle as compared to the group by key i hope this is pretty much clear if you have any doubt you can comment in the comment section and we will try to acknowledge your comment thank you so much for watching this video please do subscribe like we will surely add new videos based on the oracle db spark hadoop and cloud technology thank you bye bye for the day